Hi and welcome to my guide. Today we're going to do big jumpy bird hunting quest. There are no quest requirements. Stats requirements are 5 fletching, 30 cooking and 30 range at. I just needed approximately 100 feathers, approximately 5 wolf bones, a chisel, a knife and any axe that you can use. You can get these wolf bones during the quest but then you will need to kill level 64 wolves. You can also just buy them from the Grand Exchange or kill level 11 wolves in the first layer of the security dungeon in Barbarian Village. For the recommended items, uh, some weight reducing armor and one stamina potion because we are going to run a bit during this quest and because we don't need to fight anything during this quest you don't need to bring your uh, heavy armor. Also maybe some food to pass aggressive level 53s and 64s. And then lastly I'm also going to bring along one teleportation method out of here after the quest is completed. Where to start this quest is west of the Feldip Hills at this quest sign, south of Yanil. To get here you can either teleport with a dual ring to Castle Wars and then run all the way over to Rance or you can simply buy a Feldip Hill teleport scroll which will teleport you uh, northeast of the hunter expert, then just run northeast, and that is a little bit quicker. All right, let's start the quest. Talk to Rance. Select the third option. Okay, I will make you some stabbers. Next, a little bit southwest of Rance, you will find three angie trees. Chop all three of them. Next, use your knife on one of the anti trees and then make five ogre arrow shafts. Once you've done that, use your chisel on one of the wolf bones and then just make all into wolf bone arrow tips. When you've done that, use your feathers on the ogre arrow shafts to make flight arrows. Then use your arrow tips on the flighted over arrows and make them into full over arrows. Next, return to Rance and he should take six of them. Skip through the dialogue a little bit. And now we'll need to run through every option, so select the first one. How do the jumpies come? The second option, what are fancy toadies? Just keep pressing the spacebar. Where do you put the fatty toadies? The third one. Then the fourth one, what do you mean by sneaky sneaky? And then the fifth one, okay thanks. After the conversation is over, go a little bit southwest back to the anti trees and chop all of them back down. Because we will need to make more over arrows. Because we will need them during the quest. So chop them down, make more arrow shafts. Make them flight it and use the bones on it. Next, go north and go north of Rance. Pass the Ogre Spit Roast. Just keep going north and go to the cave entrance. Enter it. Go north and you'll find two yellow dots. Talk to any of Rance's children. And after a very short conversation, you will now know where the ogre bellows lie. Go northwest and you will find in the corner a locked ogre chest. Click on it to unlock. You will either fail or successfully open this chest. Once you've opened it, search and you will find ogre bellows. If you failed, you will get one uh, strength level reduced. Just try to unlock the chest again until you can search it for the ogre bellows. Next, exit the cave. Then just keep going south, back to Rance at the quest sign and then just go west from Rance. And we will now need to go to a little uh, puddle or swamp. 
So when you see a watery place or a swamp like uh, place on your minimap, go towards it. Then go to the northwestern side of it between the roots and the dead tree. That is my favorite spot. Just use your ogre bellows on the swamp bubbles next to the uh, edge of the swamp and you'll fill it up with the swamp air. Once you have these ogre bellows 3, use it on the hopping swamp toads hopping around. And you will get a bloated toad in your inventory. Now just get uh, two more bloated toads. And then the last one. Next, return to Rants. So just keep going uh, east, northeast, back to the quest sign. Talk to Rance. Keep pressing the spacebar. And you will now see that there is an arrow on your minimap. Run towards it. And now just place all three of the bloated toads around the uh, place marker. Then just return to Rance. And talk to him. And now you'll just need to wait for a Chompy to appear. Because you've placed all three of them, there is a higher chance of a uh, Chompy appearing. When a Chompy appears, you will see that uh, Rance does an animation and tries to shoot the Chompy, but he misses. Talk to Rance again. Then select the second option. Come on, let me have a go. Then select the first option, I am quite strong, let me try. And he will now give you a over bow. If there are still some chompies left, quickly uh, open, uh, equip your bow and your arrows and try to shoot the chompy birds. If all the chompies have disappeared, just return to the little swamp, get, fill your bellows up with air, get some more bloated toads and place them back on this uh, hunting area, the dark area just south of Rance. But I think if you're lucky there are uh, still some chompies left, just kill them. Once you've killed at least one chompy, pluck it, then take the raw chompy, maybe pick up your over arrows because we might, because we will need them during the recipe for disaster quest, and go back to Rance. Now just don't keep pressing the spacebar, but uh, slowly press the spacebar until he says what he wants to have with his uh, seasoned chompy. So for me, he wants potatoes with his. Alright, after you know what Rance wants with his uh, seasoned chompy, Go north and go to the kids to ask what they want. Enter the cave entrance. Talk to both of the kids. This guy wants dual leaves and the other kid wants cabbage. Now there are six different items that they want to have with their chompy. I'm going to show you how to get all six of them, but this is random what the three NPCs want with that chompy. So next we will just need to gather these six ingredients. So go south and exit the cave. Then we just need to go south of Rance. Keep going south, back to this darker hunting area. Then go a little bit southwest of there and you'll find three red dots and a transportation sign. Somewhere here you'll find a cabbage. Pick it up if one of the three NPCs wants it. Then next to the cabbage there are some uh, potatoes. Pick it up. And then those three yellow dots are equa leaves. Try to find them, they're very hard to see. And these are already three out of six. Next, for the other three, go west northwest back to the swamp. 
keep going west. When you are at this uh, swamp, just go west and you'll find one uh, red dot on your minimap. Go towards it and you'll find a tomato on a stool. Pick it off the stool and next to the stool you will find three onions. Pick one onion and this is five. Now one more is more west. Just keep going west and north of the mining and transportation sign you'll find four dougal leaves. Pick one up if you want to and go east and return to Rance to cook the season champi and complete our quest. Alright, back at Rance, just go north, don't talk to him, and north of Rance you'll find an ogre spit roast. Use the champi on the fire. You will automatically successfully cook it. Just go back south to Rance, talk to him, skip through the dialogue, and congratulations, you've completed the Big Chumpy Bird quest. You are awarded with two quest points, 262 fletching, 1070 cooking, and 735 range at experience. Also able to make ogre arrows, and you also got an ogre bow. This was my guide how to complete the Big Jumpy Bird Hunting Quest. Hopefully it helped. Subscribe, rate and comment. Okay, thanks, bye.